Sure. Great. Do five. And times five equals plus tax. That'll be 11,550, please. He gets the Zier card reader and puts his in one slot and waits for you to put yours in the other slot. All right, put it in. Here's five. Take five from me. Okay. I can't do that or it'll be a whole different trade, he says. Don't worry, I'll take five. All right. 11,550 11, gets taken off and he throws in the fucking... The, now, both of these are load. I'll be back. Fire. Load, fire. Because they're like little propelled. It's uh, they're like small. They're like super small missiles. So it's pretty much shoot them one at a time. And that's for the pistol as well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Everything is like it's a break open breach, and then you put in your dart, close the breach, go. That's why okay. he suggests the rifle. Okay. These have only got half the range of, you know, a lot of other kinds of rifles and stuff, so... I understand. Mm. Unless, of course, you want to spend more money for the improved uh, uh, efficiency uh, darts and stuff that have a longer range. Let's, I'll take this for now. It'd only be an extra 3000 Could save your life. No. You would That's be a fine. lot further away. Literally no, double. Thank you. Okay. I, you know, I would consider it, especially since he's wanting to use a pistol, being like five meters away from something, shooting it with a pistol is not great. Thanks don't, for the concern. Don't, Only don't, 3, try, don't try to help us, okay? No, just give us the things. I just like when my customers live and come back to me. Uh, I'll tell you what, though, if you can if you can bring me like internal organs and stuff from this, uh, since it sounds like a new creature that's probably been discovered, you guys are probably rock hunters, is my guess, on one of these rocks and stuff. If you can bring me like, uh, I'll tell you what, just fuck it, bring me a full corpse, and what what would you want for a full corpse? I'll tell you what, I'll synthesize uh, five sets of shit to knock out a full one if you bring me a full corpse. Like, not too banged up so I can do tests and shit on it. Five different sets of low, medium, and high. What do you think? If we brought you a corpse... That's right. Would you be able to tell us how to efficiently take them out and what their weaknesses are, strengths, sight, smell, that sort no, of No, I, I make knockout shit. Hmm. That's my whole deal. That's what I've been trained in. You, you, you need some sort of other kind of knower about this kind of shit. Right, I mean, well. I'm not, I'm not like a doctor. I'm not full on all this stuff. I will tell you what, if we do, we'll keep you in mind. Yeah. Bring me a full, full corpse, not fucking rotting and shit like that. I mean, a full fresh corpse and I'll make you all that. I'll throw in another fucking uh, rifle and pistol for you. Thanks. Sure. All right. Always interested in the new stuff. All right, Logan, we'll go and buy some manacles and chains. They're and all made for do. fucking people. Do they have anything for death claws? Well, no, they, they, they haven't got any for a monster that they've never fucking but seen. Is there, is there something that would fit somehow? Uh, well, yes. you're not sure just how strong they, these guys are and stuff like that. Um, I suppose from, you can get something 3D printed up or something. So, Freddy, you saw these beasts before, so you know, like, what would be, what would we need and you, and yeah. We don't, yeah. So it would need to be something very strong. Okay. So do we, yeah. Plus, all Can the death claws look like they were kind of differing sizes and shit. So handcuffs for one might be slip out and claw you to death for another. Yeah, but uh, so we we can like have like few of multiple sizes. Sure, um, for for five thousand each plus tax, they are willing to make you something that if something breaks out and kills you, you can get half of your money back. 
you have to come in and apply in person for it back though. Mm -hmm. um, well, but between me and Doc, that's I'm pretty much only afford to. Cool. Two sides. What if we just I hope that you not that death claw. We need something a little smaller, but not too small. Fly on, McDuff. <laughs> <laughs> just a way to keep them well you find them. a place that sells uh cages that are uh the narrow enough bars and shit the problem is is you you'd have to buy it disassembled uh they are willing to ship it to wherever wherever your ship is assuming it's in the ring here and uh then you can assemble it yourself um mm. and it's a big metal cage and it's it's pretty fucking tough uh, you, you're looking at it and you think yeah there's definitely a whole death claw but you'd really hate to set it up around death claw plus uh the instruction it, it's an ikea cage well no the idea would be to knock the death claw out first and then put it in the, in the cage yeah you can buy an assemble yourself cage and hope that you can put it together don't they have some like yeah well the directions look fairly straightforward insert slot a into tab b that kind of thing well no uh Millie, this is your um area of expertise bondage all that. <laughs> the, the yeah, proprietor I, does the shifty dog i didn't i didn't yet pick up the skill but well you're the expert here and um, leaning on your expertise okay we need a, something to restrain a big, strong creature. Like, I didn't see the creature. I don't know how strong All right, let me sketch it for you. Hold on. Okay. This is what they look like. And the guy's, like, interested. And he goes, bondage, huh? See. Oh, wow. Oh, he sketches right. an absolutely terrifying creature that the guy's like, I think you're going to need a bigger cage. <laughs> Like, did you see it, like, attack something, you know, like, you are better suited to know, like, how strong they are and stuff. They can rip apart a cow with ease. Mm -hmm. So based on all this information we have, is there something that we think that could hold them? Um, you can get a carbon fiber cage. It's pretty goddamn expensive it's an assemble yourself because you couldn't fit it into your shit mm. uh otherwise mm -hmm. it should be big enough for one of them and so um, let's get let's so how get... much is it <laughs> well the guy's like i'll be honest i haven't moved it in a while i was trying to get 25 but i'm willing to cut a deal 25 grand mm-hmm Oh yeah, it's carbon fiber. Don't have that much. No, I'm like I said, I'm willing to cut a deal on this because it hasn't moved oh, yeah. in a while. It's a really big cage. Most people want the prisoners in smaller cages. So offer something, Freddy. <laughs> Freddy just looks around shifty as fuck. <laughs> Do it. Just say it. Do you want one of those vehicles over there? I just drove over to the pickup truck. The thing we came in. I prefer the, cash, uh, she says. I can offer you 10K. 10K. Give me a hard, like, negative 30 bargain roll. He's really wanting a little bit more than that. But, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, uh, 10K um, uh, if you pay the tax. So, 11K. Okay, between myself and Doc, we'll... Because I'm assuming Doc's going to be there for this, so we have yeah. enough. Cool. Uh, right. Once again, money gone. So, mm. um, right. Now, the bars and shit are about seven, eight meters long because... Some of these things, that, you know, assuming you're wearing like a medium size or smaller one, yeah. nothing larger than that, though. 
But you are going to have some problems moving these seven meter long bars. And it's all an assemble yourself thing. You probably need about half an hour to an hour, depending on what kind of roll you make. Or it may never get assembled, depending on, again, what kind of roll you make. Plus, so the guy thing, goes, you want to anchor this into something super strong, like concrete or something like that, and then wait for it to set. Otherwise, you could literally, if you're big and strong enough, you could knock it over and then begin slowly rolling it away. Thanks for the tip. He gives it to you in flat pack. Okay. There you go. Where do you like it delivered? Uh, how much of... Are we able to carry between the two of us, Logan? Between with the hard video. strength rolls, both of you, you could stagger a short distance with it. It's not iron, but it's a lot of bars and shit. Put it in the truck over there. I just it to them. Right. There he goes. Doesn't look nearly big enough, mister. You want me to just strap it onto it as best I can? The trailer isn't big enough, is it? it oh, not awesome. if you mind not if you don't mind making some holes in it. No, the horse drawers are pretty short. I don't mind if it sticks out a bit, but I would like it secured as much as possible. We'll do our best. Okay. Can we take out some of the windows? Yeah. Right. You now have a fucked up horse trailer, and you got fucking iron bars that extend well beyond the back of it, and somebody, possibly a weird person, put a little red flag on the very end of the bars, like, eh, warning. <laughs> And you're thinking if you fucked up the driving and hit something just right, all this shit will be all over the fucking road and shit. Yeah. They had to take it out of the flat pack because it wasn't working for them. Then just fucking manually jam it in there, and tie it as good as they can. And they're hoping you're hoping that they made a good roll. You're pretty sure you'll find out if they made a good roll as soon as you start to move. Okay. Uh -huh. Do we need something else? Maybe we could check if it's put good on the car. Like, can I look at it and check if I think? Yeah. Can we double check that they work? Sure. Yeah. Um, give me your not tying skill rolls. Pete has the skill. <laughs> what? Pete's built up the skill. If right. you had him with you, he'd be like, oh. If you fail, I'm just not going to roll yet. Freddy loosens some of the knots and goes, that one was just too them. tight. I just look at them. Freddy's like, the whole thing's going to fucking go. As soon as I fucking it step on it, it's all just going to come out the back. And yeah, I was like, probably. Could you, uh, could you pause it? No, I didn't touch it. I just think uh, it's... He okay. says, I didn't it's touch perfect. it. You can clearly see his fucking fingerprints on it because you got to fucking do that to test it. You can clearly see the thing. He's in denial, and he's just making. Uh, it uh, 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 I don't want this thing to fall over the place. Are you spending a hero point? Yeah. Otherwise, I want to fall over the place. It'll probably fall over the place anyway. All right. Yeah. Probably. Looks horrible to both of you, or it looks great, whichever you choose. Uh, so, <laughs> do we need something else? <laughs> just so you know mm -hmm. we have a place here you can buy and this is fucked up because you can buy a six shot rocket launcher right over there for 20,000 and they're hassling you about wanting to have a pit with some guy in it that you're going to do experiments on <laughs> nice that's a bad um well, well, I have no more credits. I have a few hundred, yeah. but that's it. And and we we don't really need much more, right? We have the tranquilizers, we have the gun, we have the the um, pistol, we have the cage. Yeah, so we just can go to to where where they are. Where I, just, I just need to shadow walk us back there. Yeah. 
So do you want to do that? Huh? Yeah. You guys don't stick up. Chris in the truck. The truck mm -hmm. part's okay. It's the fucking horse trailer that if they hit a bump, carbon fiber pipes and shit may do horrible things to you. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Freddy, this is your driving roll time. <laughs> And I'm assuming since I made it already, it's, I still need to make another one, right? Uh, do you have a 70 or better in driving? Because you're in negative yes. 10 for this. You do? I do have a I do. Oh, okay. do it. Cool. I still want a driving roll because there's, there's hilarity at stake. Okay. Yeah, it makes me happy. Wow, oh, he drives really good. In fact, I'm now going to do their not tying, but I'm going to give them a plus 10% on their not tying thing because... You are driving super carefully. So here comes the roll at a plus 10. So they, they here we go. Yes. No, it fucking works. Okay. So now give me your targeted shadow walk and make it good. Make it real good. Obviously, you know where we're going. So yeah. Back to where all the other gear yeah. is that you've been gathering. Yeah. Doc, you come to in the back uh, of a fucking uh, truck. As uh, Freddy's screaming and uh, you guys are driving off some sort of cliff into like this fucking flow of lava and shit. No one has a vehicle, right? Oh, I don't think so. Freddy screams, but at least all the shit that's strapped onto the yeah. fucking horse trailer that looks like it's been broken up a bit is staying very secure. Uh, there we go. One pause later. Right. Mm. And. <laughs> Freddy loves fucking uh, doing this skill, too, because it's an all or nothing thing. You guys pull up. It looks like what they bought, it, it, according to the pieces of boxes and stuff that are here, Chris, it looks like it used to be a flat pack Ikea cage that has been mostly taken out of the packing and um, stuck here. And it has a lot of instructions like allow concrete to set. Um it's, uh, the cage itself is made out of some sort of strange material, uh, which actually Doc identifies as like a carbon fiber type thing. It's it, it's a uh, it's sturdy enough. You're thinking for one of these things, but the problem that you immediately spot is give me an evidence analysis roll, Doc. You can do it. How to put it in the? Now imagine if Chris was put into a large cardboard box that the cardboard box you could not break and you can stick your hand through or see through whatever and then you wanted to get away you couldn't get out of the box you couldn't deform the box but you could possibly roll the box to wherever you wanted to go this is the problem and why the directions say allow concrete to set but they seem very pleased with their purchases well, then we'll wait for the concrete to set. It, you don't own any concrete. Then we can get some. It's not expensive. No, but um, you're kind of missing the whole point. Though. I know, I know. That's like a couple of days. Minimum. Oh, right. Yeah. Well, right now, though, it, and the, it does have a top and bottom on the cage and stuff, so you could just have a loose death claw kicking around, and I suppose you could tether it to a tree, so then... It'll be like a fucking dog on a leash where it just goes round and round the tree until it fucking uh, gets rid of all of its lead on the leash and just fucking whines at you. So it'll definitely keep him fucking still-ish. Um, of course, you'll have to get a fucking chain. But anyway. Right. One question. Where do we want to actually do the experiment? In the radiated desert or not? In the radiated desert. Because if we tether it to a tree, we need to drag the, or lure the death claw all the way to the cage, and then knock it out and put it in. If you were to get about a 300, 400 meter long, uh, uh, heavy uh, wire coil, you could coil to one of these fucking redwoods here. Smaller redwood, obviously, but... You just need a huge, heavy amount of fucking. Uh, All right, back in a second. Freddie flies back to his home planet. What do mm -hmm. you two do? 
By the way, the cage still has to be put together and it has a lot of weird, complicated directions. It was yeah. cheaper. Plus, so, they uh, didn't have space for the other one. Mm. Sorry, Yana, go ahead. So we need to figure out where we will, how, how we will build the cage and where we will do it. And what you will attach the cage to what with. Yeah. Is one of those death claws could possibly eventually get through a fucking tree, but that would take them some fucking work. Mm. They, they'd have to have nothing else to do. Got two PCs leaving there for three months. What happened to them? Fucking trees knocked over and shit. So we need, we need to think to to attach the death claw to the tree. Um, something. I mean, they do sell like you can get unbreakable, like uh, really tiny fucking cable and shit. Mm -hmm. uh, but that costs more money. Oh, by the way, Chris, I think Freddie needed like one thousand one hundred of your cred or something like that for his last transaction. Sure. Cool. So, so why didn't can... we get change while we were there? What? Right. <laughs> um. So can we just go somewhere and buy a thing to attach to death claw to a tree? The only, the only thing that's small or light enough and long enough to attach it is uh, some shit you saw in Guri, uh, because uh, I, I think that a death claw would have a trouble with like a modern big ring chain. I think that would give it significant problems. The problem is, is that getting enough of that to loop around a redwood, super heavy. And even though you've got like a pickup and shit, I, I don't think it can haul that much weight. So can we jump to Gure again? Of course uh, you can. You can go back and forth as many times as you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Buy the thing, come back. Yes, I just need... Uh, uh, um, Actually, you guys go blink, blink, but buying it will be a problem because I think you're out of. Money. I think he's out of money. That's why he's borrowing shit from the dock. You have money. <laughs> I have a little bit. <laughs> She's like it never ends. Yeah. See, this is this is what happens, Yana, when people don't plan like. Mainly by people, I mean Freddie, whose mission this all is, doesn't sit down and spend like a half an hour planning shit out in advance and then mm. discussing it on the board so that people can comment on it and shit like that and then come up with a better plan and then talk about some more on the board, like a step by step plan instead of some vague shit like we should get one to experiment on. How big a problem is that right there? Yeah. Yeah, there's so so many things that uh, he had the time to uh, try to do in yeah. between games, didn't do zero sympathy from me. Yeah. Doc has visions of calling Benedict, bringing him through, <laughs> saying, "Here, you can have him." <laughs> nice. That's fair. That would be much easier. Uh, yeah, uh, there, it there, would be. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I think so too. I mean, it would be three different people dying, but you know, Freddie, I was just saying, you know, the all of this stuff that's happening is your fault since it's your mission for not coming yeah. up with plans between the sessions, and that like not vague shit like we should capture one, how to capture one, how to contain one, how to, and all that, and then discussing it on the boards and coming up with a better plan and all oh, that. Oh, we did kind of discuss it, but no one. You guys were vague as fuck. You should I definitely know, try know. blowing smoke on one. <laughs> You're just assuming you've got it in a research cage somewhere, you know? <laughs> okay, so let's just hop back to Guri, buy the thing, come back. Uh, what, what thing? Uh, thing to attach a cable oh, to right, attach. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Difficult to attach. So, now, how would you like to get to Guri? Are you going to go over to the uh, Old West uh, yeah. via Trump? Right. Yeah. Uh, give me a luck roll on your Trump there, Freddie. I think you have the least chance of breaking your shit. 
Well, I do have a way back, just so you know. To where? To here. How so? To this location. Oh, you got so. Trump at this place? Yeah. Cool. All right. So he does that. And you guys are back there. And you're in the Old West. And then you do what? Scurry over to the clubs? Yeah. You ignore everything else, scurry into the clubs. Feeling like you're missing something. You, yep, you're feeling like you fucked up, and then you're back in Gurry, and you go over there and you go, How much for the super long unbreakable line? The guy says, 3,000 creds per 100 meter plus tax. How many hundreds of meters would you like? I'm glad it's off. We just need enough for around here. We don't need hundreds of meters, right? Uh, you're thinking about circling a redwood tree. Still uh -huh. doesn't take me hundreds. No, yeah. but 100 would be enough with possibly a little bit of, little bit of spare. So basically all you need is 3,300 credit and you're gold. Do you have that much? As you guys are thinking, wow, oh, we passed a shitload of fucking chickens just before we came over here. Pity. So. I also want to know why steel cable is so that is. That no, is this is not, this is not steel cable. This is an unbreakable line. You can use this to haul a spaceship onto another spaceship, which is usually what it's used for. We don't suggest doing it, but people do it when they are poor and can't afford a proper tractor beam. Like, uh, we don't need that kind of strength. Uh, okay, I, you could weaken it with a file, I suppose. It takes a lot of work, and I don't know if it would even do it. I we They sell rope across the way. You want to buy some rope? Jerry, got some people one rope. Do Jerry's they have like, something that is a little bit less expensive and also quite rope sturdy. is dirt cheap by comparison. You can Not get a hundred meter of rope from like ten cred. And Jerry mm -hmm. over there is fucking he's holding up rope and he's like, I got all different sizes. So a thousand foot of steel cable. That's three sixteen is mm -hmm. two hundred dollars right now. Yes, you can you could go somewhere else and try to find that. This guy only sells unbreakable uh, lines. It was like he's got like a little booth. Okay, okay. well we'll go look for yeah. someone that has just something that's equal to a regular steel cable. You guys find a steel cable salesman eventually. They do have everything here. Five hundred creds per hundred meters. How many hundred meters would you like? How we, how much do we need to get around this tree of doom? And then, like I said before, if you do a hundred meters, you'll have some extra. We we'll get two hundred then, yay! So that's a thousand, right? Yeah, you got a lot yeah. extra. You guys, I uh, haul it <laughs> painfully over. Yeah, I'll cleanse it back. Well, hold on, hold on. Like, I'm curious, uh -huh. how much is like thermal uh, glasses? Ooh. Uh, let me see if anybody's <laughs> thought of making thermal glasses in this place. Um, they have they have something that is basically they're made to see at night, and so shit lights up like body heat shows. Uh, they kind of look like the painter's glasses, if you know what I mean, like the kind of biggish one. Uh, and let's see, Chris is on his fancy fucking website looking up his fancy ideas. Give me a second, let me look under tools. Uh... Four hundred. Okay. Now these are not good for like walking around at night so much. It's pretty much more of like heat, heat, heat. It's super great for finding heat signatures, but 
if you want uh, uh, low light plus thermal, then you can get those for 600. So right. how well would these work in like a smoky condition? Uh, not great. Do you know anybody that would have something that would work better in a smoky condition? Uh, no. No, I don't know of a lot that can go through uh, smoke really well. I mean, you can definitely tell where your targets are. You know, if you got like pirates or whatever put smoke into your ship, you just shoot at the heat signature. But uh, I mean, these these here holds up low light plus thermal or even the thermal work great. You know, assuming ships corridors and stuff as long as there's no obstructions, dead bodies that have cooled enough that they match the floor and stuff like that. How much are they? The low light plus thermal? Yep. 600. I'll take three. All right. Uh, you do notice before you buy them that they do seem to be powered. That's the one or two. Okay. Which you, means that we need to make them work. Yeah. Correct? Yes. <clears throat> I'm giving fair warning because essentially every time that you go, work! Work! It's fine. Okay. okay. Great. Um, we leave because I assume he does not have smoke bombs here. <laughs> you guys find a different shop with smoke bombs. Let's see here. So you're not going to buy the big cable? I did already. Oh, good. Yeah, right. All right. Cool. Um, shows it just crushing the shit out of your fucking uh, horse trailer. The horse trailer is pretty much going to be toast. You're, you're going to just drag that around with you. No, probably. No, we'll just. Oh, right. Okay. It's got your cable in it now. You don't want to try to put that in the back of the car. Um, well, no, we didn't try to walk the trailer back. We'll jump back. Super awkward. You're not going to be able to barbershop that much heavy cable through. Really? It's in, it's in a coil. Hey, really? 200 meters of cable. Really, really big coils. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it's thick ass cable, dude. It's 600 could... feet of thick ass cables. What are you thinking? I thought we could cleanse. Okay. You're dragging. You're not even able to lift that shit, probably. Kinley might be able to, but it's too big. So you're dragging it around town, going, I have cable. Somebody's like, Why don't you use a lifter? And you're like, I'm four. <sighs> um, so. See. How, we have. You said we have six, like six hundred feet. Uh, two hundred meters. Two hundred so, yeah. meters. So that's about six hundred feet. So a three eighths inch steel cable uh -huh. is one hundred twenty four pounds at five hundred feet. Really? Yep. Smaller than I thought. Then. then <clears throat> wait. You said well, like, how, many get, like, be, how many pounds? Like how many pounds? One hundred twenty four. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm I'm comfortable with my no. You can't cleanse that shit. That's a whole person. Yeah, you you barely cleanse through a dozen chickens. But it does weigh less than I thought. So basically, you're dealing with two hundred pounds of cabling, or a hundred kilos. Yeah, two of you can probably fucking do it, assuming you're feeling strong. Yeah, well, two, yeah. But still, if cleanse doesn't work, then what's right. the point? Well, I thought, you had, I thought you'd brought through your fucking horse trailer again. That would have been nice. You could have even put it, since it's only a couple hundred pounds, you could have even put it in the back of the pickup truck and not destroyed the horse trailer. Oh, well, I'm going to get That's his spirit. Go get that shit. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> so... Give me another roll. Meanwhile, Chris is going shopping for some other shit. Uh, I'll, I'll fucking <laughs> oh, see you soon. You hear a lot of muttering and shit. Uh, okay, All great. Right. Your card works. You Do I back. need to drive more? Or? No, I'm good. I, I'm good with your driving because the okay. the poles aren't sticking out the back. Are you bringing the horse trailer or no? Yeah. Well, we need to put the thing in. Mm -hmm. will, that, will that fit in the car? It'll fit in the, the bed of the pickup. Okay, then we don't need the trailer. 
No, you, um, you realize that if you don't take it, you'll probably need it later. But if I, you leave it here, then you probably won't. I'll go on the bus. Do we the trailer? Just bring it. Just come on. All right, yes. fine. I'll bring the trailer with us. <laughs> All, All right, right yeah. so give me your big special spending hero points roll, please, because you know well, you're going to start the there car there. first. Oh. All right, the car started. Hey, that's cool. All right. Uh, actually, uh, you're going to need to make quite a few rolls to keep the car going because you right. have to spend like, um, wait, you're probably going to spend uh, two hours. So give me two hours worth of rolls at every 10 minutes each. Just keep the car going. All oh, I'm looking for is not going to go well. No, no, no. Well, you drive everything to the zone where it stops working and shit, so I'm good with that. Uh, uh, it, the, the guy the guy says, how many smoke grenades are you looking into? Uh, it, normally, uh, we sell them for approximately 200 each, but uh, we can do volume discounts. We sell fragmentation grenades for 400 each. We also do volume discounts. We sell uh, 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 flares. Flares are 100 each. And we do bulk discounts. Uh, <clears throat> just need spoke bomb type things, like tactical. Uh, 200 credits each. Uh, we have choice of colors. Uh, I made every roll of them. God damn. Give me your big targeted shadow did, walk roll. Oh, did, damn you. All right. Barely. No, thank you. Have, have a good day. Are you sure we have red? Many yeah, people do not fine. make we red. Cookie there too. We, we have red in now. It is new okay. for the season to celebrate holiday. That's nice. He's very good. Okay, good. Like, like, how much area are we talking? Does this one bomb do? These are military smoke grenades. They do good area. You can make an entire hallway smoky. Nobody happy inside a hallway. Just a hallway. Ooh. Yes, they are. They are small. What do you want for small? Small. You are limited by physics here. Small only right. does a hallway. Peace you, and chicken grease, yo. I don't know who this chicken grease person is. Bring good him evening. here. I will give him book discount. <laughs> <laughs> right, Freddy eventually comes through with the uh, truck. You load the fucking huge, heavy, couple hundred fucking pounds. I can't believe the cable on it. Okay. <sighs> Do you Freddy guys know how tortured. to build something that needs the concrete, or are we just gonna attach it to the? We're gonna just attach it right with the with the. With we'll the... just attach it. We yeah, with this, you can just attack. You could literally tie it off to a tree, so to speak, with this. You should buy a lock, though, to lock the cage to the coil in the cable. It doesn't come with a lock. No, it doesn't come with a that, fucking no, lock. No, it, it doesn't. Like, we'll get hardware for it. But like a... Okay. Doc Fulton looks like he's ready to snap and kill you. Okay. So hardware for that shit is really cheap. You go to like Menards, we can go to Shermer because that's where we're gonna get some smoke bombs where they are much cheaper than stupidity here. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go to Shermer, we're gonna get some smoke bombs because like I I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm can, about fucking done. You could yeah. save big money at Menards, you know. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll go to Shermer. No problem. Uh, give me your targeted uh, shadow walk. Oh, wait. What? You're good. He gets ready to fucking drive well, off because he, he's like, that would take you, if, if, you just said, let's go. <clears throat> right. But we're not shadow walking yeah. there. To, like, we can go to Clem. Right. We can Clem's around yeah. in that. That's Okay. Because we're getting, like, hardware, and then we're getting smoke bombs from Shermer. Do you want me to drop the car off back at Gothic with all the stuff in it? Sure, and then I'll just okay. go buy some smoke bombs, and while you're over in Gothic, I'll contact you via Trump, and you can pull us through once I buy some smoke bombs and some, the correct hardware that we're going to need. Sure. He doesn't buy the cheapest fucking lock he can afford. <laughs> just the creature just fucking roll away in the cage. 
<laughs> we do it. We go. Yep. Oh, I'm now sure you want to go. Back. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm looking up something here, kids. Yeah. Got it. Um, right. You guys uh, head back to Shermer. Uh, via Clems. So, cut to St. Louis. You're in St. Louis. Oh, right. Okay, yeah. There's no Clems in fucking Shermer still. That's right. That, that doesn't matter. I just, I just, we just need to get back to here so we can buy this crap and then. Just walk me through it, dude. What are you doing first? So, I go to a Home Depot and I buy the hardware I'm going to need to. Uh, to hold the, the cable 200 uh, dollars and you buy mit or actually for 200 dollars you get a miscellaneous <clears throat> tool set a uh, big fuck off type lock that looks nice and thick that you can put through there um then some chewing gum you kind of could use so okay yeah. and then i go to you right down your basic surplus. tools and i get some smoke grenades Military surplus store? Sure. Guy goes, we're not really supposed to sell them because some places kind of call them fireworks. Give me a streetwise roll to show you're in with the in crowd of I buy illegal shit all the time. He says, but you look like a trustworthy sort. Uh, he's willing, since they're kind of quasi illegal, he's going to sell them for a little bit more expensive because of the risk. You now enter into a bargaining with this guy. He's wanting sixty dollars each, but they no, thank cover. You. We'll go to Missouri. We'll like, we'll we'll take a bus to like um, these, these Mississippi, cover, where fireworks cover, are legal, and then I'll buy some. We'll buy some smoke bombs there. Yeah, these these are these are the military grade ones. The civilian don't do shit by comparison. I've tested out civilian; they suck at cock. These cover up to thirty thousand cubic feet for about fifteen minutes. Oh, okay. How much is it? Sixty each. He's selling them for about. You're gonna guess with me in appraisal roll. Okay. Yeah, the civilian ones suck a cock. They go. And you go. Yay! I spent ten dollars on that. Yay! And everybody's disappointed. I'm sure somebody out there will fucking write in going, "I had one one time, and we still haven't found my house." And then we comes over to Gothic, and then we go meet him out in the in the forest area. However, gonna use counter surveillance so the Harlequins can eat my ass. God damn it! I just wanted to attack Freddy. Oh. Oh, then I lead him right to him. <laughs> Thank you. Take a card, right, Freddy? <laughs> now, give me a counter surveillance. See what you see. Uh, you're at half on this or negative 30, whichever is better for you. Nope. Everything's fine. Just be, you, you, you're pretty sure if there's something watching you, it's somebody else's problem. Okay. So then we go out. Okay. Mm -hmm. She looks around vaguely. Nothing to drink or kill. Mm. So <laughs> you guys head off. Uh, take a card, though, Chris, because you're the first person to mention counter-surveillance, so you're not sure if there's anything to counter-surveil, but you're the first person to you put the words OPSEC to any kind of actual use here, and you guys all meet up in the forest. How many grenades did you get? Smoke grenades? Ten. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool. Right. You got two flyers. They're still here, but they might not be for long. Because uh, you, want... you guys need to build a fucking secured garage, maybe a perimeter with some fucking lights and the machine guns and shit, and then they'll stay here. Um, I can go over to uh, this thing real quick and get some borax if you want to test that on them as well. Rasslin said Mr. Koala had a bunch of it, so I can get some and jump back to you. Or do you not want to do borax? Do you think borax would work on them? I don't know. I can try it and see. Try and see. Okay. Uh, Logan, I will jump over to... Luck roll, luck roll. 
You yes, got to be skin. You go find this Mr. Claw guy. Do you know where he lives? Did he tell you? Yes, he's uh, near the warehouse that mm. last invented. Cool. You go over there and he goes, Borax, do you have a letter from Wrestling Red? I'll tell you what, you look like an ass sword. Here's two big buckets of this shit. And if you didn't come from Wrestling Red, uh, then I'll tell him it was you. Also, Wrestling Red says he loves you. Oh, he says, that sounds like Rassler or Rad. Take those buckets and good luck. Um, you're full up of borax. You, you're like, oh, lift the buckets. I mean, this guy and other people bring them in. He's a fucking lawyer. He's not doing anything to it. Right. Yeah. And then you and go the wandering Trump. off and Trump back. Yeah. He comes back with two fucking heavy ass buckets of borax. He goes, there you go. Okay. Let's put the suits on before we go into the desert. Damn, I thought you'd forget. Right, yeah. everybody give me your spacesuit technology uh, shit, which is tiny futuristic. Put yours on. I'm going to check everyone's. Well, that's fine. Everybody can go ahead and make their own roll, and then you can roll to check each of the other two people's rolls. Okay. Oh, nice. I don't feel I make I... sure that Freddy's is uh, not working correctly. Right, you, you disconnect his shit. Now, Freddy makes his... Oh, okay, Freddy reconnects it when you're not looking, but there is some glares going on, which is, makes it better. <laughs> uh, the, uh, so, pretty much, did Yana, did you make yours? I don't have the, the thing. Nobody has the thing. Yeah, smash the learn times one button. And then they can try well, to check. Okay, cool. Right, we'll then each of her. you two can check hers, and if either of you makes it, she's okay. Otherwise, she uh, will go, she will use up a perfectly good body. All right, cool. <laughs> I thought she'd body hop into somebody else soon. And is and check ducks as well. Then. Yeah. Um, seems fine. Okay, great. I don't know if you made it. You guys okay. think that you're okay. Okay. So then you, you do the slow right stuff, walk over toward the vehicle and stuff, and it shows like you guys get halfway there and it shows Freddy's like, hey, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> uh, so we'll put all our gear and everything into the radiation bags. Um, and then we'll go into the flying car. I'm going to probably need to pump Doc with magic to make him use the car, but we'll see. I like that you're getting ready to start pumping dock. Unfortunately, your suits do not have a docking mechanism. <laughs> Sexual space suits. That's a possible. Uh, who, um, Midget, are you any good at using rifles? Yeah, I okay. I think I'm pretty good. And you're on shoot rifle duty. Mm -hmm. I'll try the pistol if we get close enough. Okay. So you um, give her the breech loading single shot dark gun rifle thing. Now you've got uh, medium, low, and high of three different flavors and shit. Five. Yeah, well, yeah. Sorry, five, five different, different flavors. And uh, right, Doc is going to be totally busy flying and shit. I so think. Do do we want to like lure one away from the others somehow? And then the, oh, and then... Wait. Do we want to assemble the cage first? Oh, oh, wait. Do we want to do any kind of planning before we go? No. Fucking fly. <laughs> go. Uh, let's assemble the cage first. Okay. Um, okay. And what? Plus, I would like to point out, in all fairness, that even if you trank one, even if you had an unconscious one, you're not sure you could fit it into the vehicle. And even oh, if no, you could. You we can use a coil to tie it to the vehicle and drag it back. That will be interesting. I don't see any other way to pull it back with us. Uh huh. Well, uh, it would definitely be a not tying thing, but I will give Doc a bonus because he got a bunch of tools and shit so he can try to attach it in some way to this. Or if you want to assemble a cage, you could have the cage literally dangling from your fucking flyer. Don't recommend. Uh, uh, it, it'll be unhappy to fly because you'll have a weird pendulum motion of a super angry creature possibly oh. thrashing around like a ways down. But that'd be cool. You kind of wish, though, that you had a giant grabber. You just go grab one by the fucking head and lift it up. That would be awesome. Well, we don't have we don't want to do the experiments in the desert, so. Yeah. We'll need to 
now. That's fine. We'll we'll airlift it out then. Okay, so are, are you wanting to assemble the cage? Yes. Now, who is taking primary on the cage and who wants to support? What is this skill? You're not sure okay. yet? I'll tell you in a second. It'll be fun. I'll do it, and then you guys can help me. All mm -hmm. right. It's either mechanical repair or puzzles at a bonus. I'll support with mechanical repair. You can also, if you want an extra support, if anybody speaks Swedish, that will give you an extra support. No? Okay. Support. I, I can know. try Swedish. Yeah, go for it. Blurgdhergen, he says, near like. Can today. I support myself speaking Swedish? Yes, of course. <laughs> no, I don't. No, I was close. Damn close. Mildred going to try to help? Yeah. She's just laughing at you. <laughs> So I believe everybody failed all their roles, leaving it up to you. They pretty much just are sitting there and like Mildred's like looking at the instructions and shit and she's expressing hatred and contempt for them. They leave you to put it together. I made my language role though. Ah, you are to plus five as she is translating the Swedish instructions, which are better than the English instructions into English for you and giving you a small bonus on your put fucking cage together mechanical repair or you can use puzzles at a bonus You're up to you which skill would you like to go for I, I, I already tried using oh. mechanical repair and I missed by one cool uh, since she made her support then that works yes no no with her support I missed by one. Oh, that's a bitch right no problem you've got the cage together the wind blows slightly it falls apart can we support with the puzzles as well. Yeah. Puzzle assembly. Yeah. No. It's an either or thing. So, right, so it appears really. somebody else will have to put it together, but you can still keep the bonus from Mildred Swedish on whoever's going to try it next. And uh, uh, Fulton can try to support you with his mechanical repair because it's clear he doesn't know what he's doing and needs somebody else to do it. All right. I'll try and do it. Cool. He supports you this time because, of course, he fucking does. Dare to herd her, she says. No, no, the, I said dare to herd her, damn it. <laughs> All right. The cage is unassemblable. You seem to be missing slots G and F. Can I try again at half? Yes, you totally can. All right. All right. Mildred's still giving you the plus five. Everybody, everybody can roll support, but you're at half for your support as well because I don't want to fumble it. So, yeah, I failed that. You're you sure you don't want to fumble it, Freddy? I I know what my luck is like. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Not quite at half, I'm afraid. Nope. Uh, can I find my? You have a pass off. load of carbon fiber tubes and shit, though. I'll try mine at half. Right. It's Everybody nice. lets you try to build it. You realize that at this point you're going to... Yeah, I know what the fumble is. Go ahead. Oh, I give okay. you plus 10. So you're in a total of plus 15 for Mildred speaking to you in Swedish and him doing the uh, thing. And it's all up to you, Freddie. You're at half plus 15. He's what? Like, Hmm. Right. Uh, bummer. All right, puzzle time it is. Wait a minute. For yeah, okay. Everybody everybody, give me a... Uh, uh, actually, I'll just make this easy. Freddy, Chris, and Yana. Everybody give me a puzzles at plus uh, uh, 15, including Yana is going for Swedish. Nope. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And Freddy, since you've tried so hard and so long, I want to luck roll at half. Mm -hmm. Just normal. All right. Freddy's inside the cage and he's like, yes, yeah. What? Where's the door? Yes. Now, you realize at this point that pretty much you have to slightly disassemble the roof or the or the bottom. Either way, they're kind of the same. And open it up and then the person can get in or out. So you're going out with it slightly disassembled. 
It doesn't have a, a fucking swinging door. It's pretty much two ends because you know, they bought the fucking Ikea one. It didn't work quite like they were expecting, but, you know. So, but either way, the cage is ready. And I'm not even going to ask for a roll to put on the top. It just takes some time. Did everybody freeze up? Everybody froze up. I'll reboot my shit. Come back. Come back. Come back. I don't see Chris. Do you guys see Chris? Yep. All right. Let me try magic again. Mm. Rerolling. I see everybody. Does everybody see me? Yay. Cool. So, as I was saying, the cage doesn't have like an easy open closed door, but you can either make the top or bottom door. The only difference is it just takes a little bit more time. That's it. But no roll will be required when you're doing it. You know what you're doing now with this cage model. Okay. Just a little bit more time. Of course, other problems will ensue soon, like moving a several hundred pound creature that's unconscious, if you can manage to knock one out. That will be fun. Yeah. Yeah. Other right, things to consider. All right. So you attach the cage to the bottom of the fucking flyer. I'm going to only go for a negative 5% to your flyer skill here because it's it's kind of awkward, but it's not like loaded with angry beast or anything like that. Doc Fulton is fucking piloting like he's a fucking champ. Futuristic spaceship? Huh? Like using the magic car or the tech car? Because if you're using the tech car, you're going to have a very difficult time keeping it in the air. Oh, wait, that was futuristic. Sorry. Ah. Well, it's, it's a bit low, but which car are we using? Yeah, uh, both wait. are air cars. Both are futuristic, both are air. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which one do you want to use? Yeah. The magic you want one? to use magic or tech? Oh, the magic one, because that's the one that it's easier to use. I need to activate the car first. Oh, that's right. Oh, there's shit going on. Do I have to um, use, and I have to use the activate magic? Bullshit, or am I yep. just learn rolls or what? Activate conveyance. What? Activate conveyance. <laughs> Here comes the fumble card, the fumble card, the fumble card. And it also means you're done for the day if you take the fumble card. Uh, okay, so. we'll camp out. Okay, yeah. let me do the fumble card and we'll see if the vehicle's still operational. We do have camp supplies, so that's fine. Yes, you, you totally do. Everybody's at a bonus to slap Doc for one round. Going, going. No, okay. Everybody decides their survival instinct kicks in. You guys are camping out, and it shows like the fire. And you notice that Freddy's having kind of a hard time sleeping because all the fucking nature is making weird noise. And you're, you're thinking that maybe if you sing him a go to sleep song, it would really help him out. Or you could smother him with his pillow. Either way. No? All right. And the next day eventually comes, and you guys uh, eat some of your MREs or little cubes, and Doc yeah. fucking is intent on sabotaging the shit out of this trip. Here comes the fumble card. Doc sits there going. And that's the end of that day. And eventually, the next day. Well, let me see if life is going on here. Life is not going on yet. Also, do you want luck rolls? So we jump back, get food, jump back, blah, blah, blah. I thought you said you have camping supplies. Yeah. yeah okay. Fine. Yeah. There's anyway. food, isn't there? Yeah. Did nobody buy food? 
No, no, at five days was good. No, we've got you've got uh, uh, less now. You're down to three days. Yep. See, this is what you bought it for. And Doc gets into it. And he fucking hates this car now. He's fucking uh, hating on this car big time. You doing the hot work, so. Well, don't don't forget that you're also going to be doing lots of willpower rolls as you go out there, assuming you can find the place and all that shit. So, but you've got a map and a compass of the area, and it's fucking taped to the the uh, windshield right across the top. Of it. So I can only try to activate it so many times, or I can just keep going until it starts or it blows up. You could literally destroy the magic. It just costs magic points. Yeah, as long as you don't, as long as you don't fumble One, two, it. One, two, three. At 9.15, it starts. Cool. Thank God you got a high essence. <clears throat> right. You managed to start it, and let's see. Oh, and what's your willpower? 20. That'll be a big help to you. Uh, do the thing where you roll a fuck ton of dice at once, like because uh, you're going to basically be out for about, uh, call it uh, 18 rolls worth. So roll 18 D100s and don't roll a 100. That's all. Go ahead, Trady. Cool, you failed to crash. Wow, you come really fucking close a couple of times, but you failed to crash into the fucking ground and shit while you're in the middle of this adventure. So essentially, you're going to be okay as far as I see, Freddy. As far as uh, uh, the keeping the car going part, you're fine on that. There's going to be some trick flying involved. you got a fucking swinging pendulum of a cage under you and shit. Yeah. And you mm -hmm. got, uh, unfortunately, you can tell that Yana is getting ready to fumble with her trank rifle and shoot you in the fucking back of the neck at some point. So, but if that kind of thing doesn't happen, assuming fuckery doesn't happen, the magic part, at least, to keep the vehicle going, as long as you don't get out of it, is covered. As soon as you step out of it, all bets are off. Okay? <laughs> Cool. So, um, let me try and give you a bit more magic back just in case you need it. He fumbles, knock Doc out the car, turns off, Yana shoots Freddy. I can totally see that sequence of events. <laughs> um. Oh, sorry, the willpower roll as well. Uh huh. Yeah. So you get seven back. If Don't. you make your willpower roll. Sorry, eight back, yeah. Yeah, if I make the willpower one back. Two willpower. Yeah, there we are. And one for the failed one because you may have still oh, yeah, fumbled. So, damn. Right. Okay, so you guys are now flying out there. Uh, mm -hmm. who, who, now, you got three different choices. Memory, navigation of the bonus, or uh, direction sense. I have a navigate plus 20 card as well. Cool. You've got a compass, navigate plus 20 card, and a fucking map with a big X on it. Roll. Uh, who's uh, navigating? I'll navigate. Do you want the card? Nope. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> cool. He just fucking, uh, nope, I got it. And, right, you guys are heading out there, and I'm going to show Yana kind of... Um, Fred, give me a luck roll for miscellaneous shit. Okay. Oh. About half. Cool. Right, you guys are flying out there, and... Move map. Yana, you guys mm -hmm. start off here... Going through the desert, you pass by various uncollected scrap and stuff here. And then in the distance, you see a uh, destroyed city. Okay? Okay. And then they fly you over to here, which is the front door of the creature's lair. And these down here are what these fucking creatures look like. And you're thinking, holy fuck, the cage is barely big enough. These things are fucking double human size. Right? Okay. And according to Freddy, this is what you're looking for. This is what the front door looks like. Uh huh. And a head on thing. And yeah, this looks super fucking rough. 
these things are really aggressive and they can jump high, higher than they are. And the creatures are just there, just like um, roaming around. I think for dramatics, we're just doing a pass and stuff, and they're they're going high enough that the creatures aren't getting stirred up and shit. Maybe they think you're some sort of weird bird flying over or whatever. But it looks like there's uh, several of them. Do you have binoculars? I do. If you want some, I handle the binoculars. You now have binoculars, Yana. Looking through the binoculars, because I know Freddy ain't getting those fuckers back. Looking through the binoculars, you can tell that down near the base thing, there's probably about a half dozen of these things. Um, mm -hmm. But you guys are flying around pretty much looking for one that's just out on its own. Yeah. And because yeah. Freddy is the luckiest person ever, you do eventually find one that's a little bit bigger and a little bit meaner than necessarily what you're wanting. But it's the only one by itself. The littler ones tend to clump together more. 